What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, we got to talk about the state of play. Sony just decides to drop it about, I believe, one day, literally to the hour, 24 hours before the event. So here's the rapid fire of what you need to know. It's tomorrow, September 13th, and it's going to be new reveals and updates on the PS5, PS4, and PSVR 2. It's at 3 p.m. Pacific or 6 p.m. Eastern. And actually, when you click on and you look at the actual blog, the way it's broken down is they say we'll have some great updates from our amazing Japanese partners, along with a few other surprises from developers all around the world. And then they say it's about 20 minutes covering 10 upcoming games. So there's a lot of keywords there that I do think is important to keep our expectations in check, right? So in terms of what I'm expecting, number one is really just God of War Ragnarok. So actually, I shouldn't have even said number one. because it's, it's And that's the, actually what I tweeted to them. I really think Ragnarok makes sense because that is one of the developers from around the world, right? It just happens to be in the U.S. It's not Japanese, but that doesn't matter. It's a game coming out on PS5 and PS4 and it's upcoming um it depends i guess that, that that's ambiguous in terms of upcoming games right because spider-man 2 is upcoming but i don't think that would be there because i think that's that's too far in my opinion what i think the theme will probably be is just short-term games so i i would imagine forspoken is a game they're talking about i think god of War ragnarok is a game they're talking about i think there'll be probably three to four psvr2 games if not actually even more i could imagine half of it being psvr2 and the other half being ps5 and ps4 but in terms of those bombshell kind of announcements i think god of war ragnarok is really the big one and i could imagine seeing gameplay again they do talk about seeing actual gameplay from some of these games uh so that would be pretty good and i think it's a game again you have to do that on in terms of what this means for the playstation showcase i mean it, it kind of is worrying isn't it at least for me it is because it's like all right are you doing this to get games out of the way you're doing this to kind of say all right well we'll put some games here and then that way when we do a playstation showcase we we don't have to worry about those games right but again i mean you're at september 13th now for tomorrow's state of play do you do one at the end of september or sometime in october for the for the playstation showcase i guess in fact that's probably uh, i would imagine what they're going to do but that's my opinion i would say no wolverine no spider-man i think the big bombshell game would be god of war and then the rest and also an, an important thing to remember this doesn't even have to be playstation exclusives right the japanese partners does indicate like exclusivity that's why i say forespoken i think makes sense but it doesn't have to be exclusive games. Obviously, like PSVR 2 games are in a way, I mean, they're, you know, they're on PSVR 2, but some of them also come out on other VR devices. So I would say God of War Ragnarok and then, you know, a handful of, of other things. I wouldn't be surprised if something like a, I'm not saying it would, but like a Callisto Protocol or like a Midnight Suns, like just a third party kind of thing. I wouldn't be surprised if we even got one or two of those kind of games. Not necessarily those specific ones, but those kind of games. So this is definitely the small one. I mean, it's 20 minutes, 10 games. Again, I think half will probably be PSVR 2. So this is not the big thing that we've been talking about for basically a year so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on if you want to follow or support me anywhere else all my social media is in the description below and oh i'm not gonna live stream it simply because of the time of the day that it's you know taking place in and because it's only 20 minutes but i will be watching it and then right after i'll do at least one video on this channel so you can expect a video maybe recapping it or i'll pick the biggest thing that happens there god of war or something else and uh, and we'll do a video on it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all on the next one